Okay, we're recording. <laughs> Let me, um, well, that's fine. Just disregard the first minute 30. So it's Tuesday, June 30. This is Brad Layton, and I'm actually in Zionsville, Indiana, this morning, and I'm going to be covering a few things uh, that I did not get a chance to get into the, the last Camtasia. So I'm going to get off to the races right away with the Sri Lanka grid quiz. And I'll go over that right now. And then hopefully um, you all can join me shortly. Okay, so here we go. Documents. Going into courses. And I'm going into Sri Lanka, Grace Solar. And I think I put this under the 243 curriculum. So just as a reminder, 101 is conventional energy, 102 is renewable energy, and 243 is solar PV. And what I wanted to do for you is put together a quiz that reviews the primary energy sources for Sri Lanka. So I, I put this together just as sort of a big picture. I'll let this come up. Okay, so this first graph that we see here is a figure from Wikipedia, and it shows the Sri Lanka primary energy. Uh, the left axis is total installed capacity. This is in megawatts. And you can see this line, this line, this line, this one. So the left bar in each of these cases, starting in 2000, and going up to 2015, the left bar is power, so installed power, and the right bar is energy consumed. So let's get a new, let's get a new figure going here. Uh, so if you're going to take some notes, the left is uh, power, uh, power in megawatts, and the right. Uh, equals um, energy in, I think it's gigawatt hours, gigawatt hours, yeah, gigawatt hours. All right, so one thing I did last time was to calculate the amount of um, total power that was actually used. So let's just take 2015, and if we look at the megawatts, we're up around uh, 3,800, 3,800, so let's do it this way, so um, power 2015 15 equals, uh, what do they say, 3,700 gigawatts, 3,700, no, sorry, megawatts, <laughs> 3,700 megawatts. And the energy, so let's do this. I'm going to make that lowercase. And, and then we've got energy. Hi, I'm good. Oh, hey, good morning. Good morning. Good evening. Are you all awake? Okay. How was your how was your cricket? Did you have a nice cricket match? Pardon? I'm asking, did you have a, a nice cricket match? Cricket? Yeah. Wasn't wasn't someone playing cricket last time? Hey Jesse. I was, ask, I was asking uh, Martha how the cricket went. Yeah, she played, and her team is on the cup. Oh, right on. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations. Very good. Very good. Okay. Well, um, I am. I'm going to share my screen here, and I think last time we talked, I didn't get the full recording. For the for the for the grid, 
So I'm going to I'm going to share my screen and show you the questions from the Sri Lanka electricity grid. Yes, sir. We have a lot of uh, doubts in this question because the difficult to understand. If we quickly understand, we can get the answer. Yes. Yeah, I'm confused too. Okay. And answer, and how to do it. Sure, sure. Um, I'm good. I'm right. In, I'm right in the middle of, of one question right now, uh, so I'll I'll finish that, and then you can ask me your question. And I figured we would maybe spend um, twenty or thirty minutes on the quiz, and then we'll take a break, and then I think we need to do the batteries, right? Okay. Okay. So let me share my screen. I love seeing that big Michigan M in the background. <laughs> I love seeing that. It make it makes me. I'm. I, w I was just. Um, it it makes me uh, feel like I'm at home. I I was just in um, in Michigan with my my daughter. So I got to spend some time, and I was not in Ann Arbor, but. Uh, Anyway, it's, I like seeing that, so I'm glad it's there. Okay, let me let me uh, share my screen. Uh, entire screen. Okay, sharing. So I'm looking at this this graph, and this graph shows the Sri Lanka electricity grid. And so what we can see are two bars. The left bar is power, and the right bar is energy. So power, energy, power, energy, power, energy, starting in 2000 and going through 2015. So the problem I'm trying to solve right now is to see how much capacity was used in 2015. So we can see in 2015 we had we had 37 if we go over here we draw a line straight across to this right there in in two, 2015 we had 3700 megawatts. Yeah. Yeah. So let me show this. I'm I'm trying to just do a little bit of uh math here. So the power in 2015 equals 3,700 megawatts, and the energy in 2015 equals um, what is this? Maybe 30. Yeah, maybe almost 4,000. Not quite, but the energy. So the energy in 2015 is uh, 13,000 gigawatt hours. So equals 13,000 gigawatt hours. All right. So now what I want to do, and so this this is the um, this is the capacity. Which, which is the um, uh, or the total uh, possible power. Now this one is the uh, used. So this is actual energy used. So now the, the question is, uh, what was the, what's the capacity? The capacity equals. So the capacity in this case, capacity equals the uh, it, it, it equals the uh, total used, total energy used divided by the total time divided by the capacity. Um, oh, let's see. Um, actually, let's change this word. I'm gonna I'm gonna change this to utilization. 
uh, utilization. Let's change it to utilization because I don't want to use the word capacity twice. So total energy used divided by total time divided by uh, power capacity. And so I'll write this up here, power capacity. So to, to get this answer, this equals 13,000 um, gigawatt hours. And I'm going to change it to megawatt hours. So 13,000 gigawatt hours equals 13 million megawatt hours. And if I divide that by 365 times 24, let me put all of that in parens. So if I, if I divide energy by time, and I'll put the hours in there, if I divide energy by time, I'll write, let me write the equation again, uh, energy divided by time equals power. So now I'm going to divide, so this is going to give me power, and then I'm going to divide this by uh, capacity, and then in this place, the, in this case, the capacity was 3700 megawatts. So, okay, so first I'll do this little bit of math my calculator going so one three zero 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 divided by three sixty five divided by twenty four equals okay that's not right something went wrong there hang on let me go back uh... yeah no that's okay 13,000, so this is uh, 13,000 gigawatts. Okay, so, or gigawatt hours. So that's 13 million megawatt hours. And there are 365 times 24 hours per year. Let's back to the calculator. I'll do it one more time. 13... 13 million divided by 365 divided by 24 equals okay uh, 1484 let me write that down equal yeah One second. Say that again. Thirteen million. Right. Divided by three hundred and sixty-five yes. times twenty-four. Yes. Okay. I, I can. Sh let me show you the difference here, really quick. Sometimes that can be confusing. I'll, sometimes that can be confusing. Let me. Let me show you. Because there's two. There's two different ways to do it. I, I'll use uh, I'll use Microsoft Excel. It, it, it can show that because that that can be confusing, depending on how you enter that in your calculator. This is very important. I'm glad you asked. It's not a trivial problem. Okay, so I'm going to do the problem two different ways. Okay, so here's the um, energy. And we're going to do the uh, energy, and this is going to be in megawatt hours. And this is going to be the days. This is 365. This is going to be hours per day. This is 24. 
So now we'll do hours per year equals 365 times 24. Okay? That's correct, right? 8,760. And we know the megawatt hours is 13 million. Okay, let me change this a little bit. So this has a comma. All right, so 13 million megawatt hours, 365 days per year, 24 hours per day, 8,000. 760 hours per year. Okay, now we'll, we'll, we'll do it like this. We'll do uh, method one, and we'll do method two. So in method one, we'll have, um, I'll, just, I'll just take all these numbers, copy, paste, paste. So I just, I just took all of the numbers. So this is our data. Yeah. This is our data. So method one, what we'll do is I'll say this, this number equals, this is what I did on the calculator, 13 million divided by 365 divided by 24. That's what I did before. I took the big number and I divided it by both small numbers. And that's the answer. Yeah. Okay? See that? Yeah. Okay, now here's method two. Equals the big number divided by the number of hours. Same answer. Yeah. Okay. So... You can see that the confusion was, what do I do with these numbers? Do I multiply them? Well, I did. I multiplied them right here. Or can I take these numbers and divide them into that number? That's what I did. And it worked. Yeah. And then over here, it's, it's a little bit different, but it's the same because I multiplied first. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah, so I, this is always good to check your, uh, check your work. Okay, so let me go back here. Okay, so now, now what I'm going to show is so this uh, this 14 1484 so 1484 actually let me just fi let me finish the problem 1484 divided by 3700 equals 40% equals 0 0.40 equals 40 percent okay so this is this is important and this is this is the actual average power so it was it was 40 it was 40 percent of 3700 so let's let's do that really fast so uh, oh well we already have it so for, so 14 1484 uh, megawatts equals uh, average power consumption so it obviously this this number it can never be put it up here, can never be greater than 1, right? Because if we go back to our graph, this, is, this would be the, the most power that you could ever use. But 
on different days of, of the year, if the demand is low, if people don't want as much energy, then we don't, they don't use as much. If we, if we also take this number, uh, let's do it another way, 37, let's start with 3,700. Go here. Um, let's see. Let's look. What, what is the maximum uh, possible uh, energy consumption? So if we take the, these same numbers, copy. Paste. Actually, what I'll what I'll do here, I'm actually going to put in one more row. This is power, and the power was in in megawatts. And again, we had thirty-seven thousand. Uh, yeah, thirty-eight. It's actually a little closer to 38,000, isn't it? Well, anyway, this will be in megawatts, 38. I may have been using 37 before, but the, the point is just to show you how to do this type of calculation. So the maximum would be the power times the hours. This would equal power times time. This would be um, uh, megawatt hours. Then if we divide it this way, equals 33,000 divided by 1,000. This is gigawatt hours. So 33,000 gigawatt hours would be, um, you know, all, almost triple. So that's where that 40% comes from to show that we're, we're Sri Lanka is only using about 40% uh, of the total maximum. So this would be if everything this would be the total maximum if all of the resources were used, but it's um, it's uh, significantly less than that. Okay, so that's the first problem I wanted to show, just so that you could get a uh, distinction between power and energy. So this is the amount available. If we multiply power times time, we get energy, so this is the theoretical maximum, and this is the actual. Okay, so what, um, tell me your question, and we'll, uh, and I'll do my best to answer it. Because I think, I think we had, what, like 18 questions? Yeah. Okay. Which one was giving you trouble? Uh, uh, of course, the problem is capacity in Sri Lanka in 2013. Is it also like this? Okay, was it question number six? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's a good one. What was the total? installed capacity in 2013. So I think I found an answer of 3,350 megawatts. Let's go back. Yeah, I think, yeah, what, what was your answer? Yeah, I also get that. Yeah, I also get that one. And total installed capacity. Plus 
Oh, okay. Yeah, let me look. I think there was so a little bit of problems with the with the graph. It's not very clear, and I it, we may have been just reading it a little bit differently. Let me let me look. Let me look. So it's question six. Total installed capacity in 2013. So we're looking at this question here. Let me go up to the figure. Up to the figure. So make this a little smaller. Okay, 2013. And we're looking at uh, megawatts. So here's 2013. Here's megawatts. And if we go up, there's 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, 2,500, 3,000, uh, yeah. 31, 32, 33, 33.50. 50. Yeah, or, you know, maybe maybe a little more, maybe 33.70, something. It, it's hard to tell. It's maybe a little more than half, but it's it's less than, we, we could also answer this way. We could say, um, maybe, we, maybe we want to answer it this way. Let's try it. Let's watch this. So, uh, power 2013, 13, uh, 2013, 3300 and 3400. Let's do it like that. Yeah. So, see, see what I did there? It, it's kind of hard to read. So I know it's it's more than it's more than 3300 it's the power capacity it's the power capacity so it has to be measured in megawatts okay. it has to be measured in megawatts so this the this left side the left the side power. is power, and so power, power, power. Yeah, yeah the light colors are power. Light, yes, exactly. The light colors are power, and the the darker energy. ones are energy. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yep. I had a little trouble reading this graph too at first. I find this I find this kind of curious that in 2013 there was 2500 2500 and then less. 24 24 24 It's strange that it went down and then back up. Anyway, okay. What's your What's your next question? How to find number seven one? Number seven. Okay. What? Oh. Whoops. I think. Oh, you know what? I think John renumbered these for me. Yeah, this uh, the second one. Yeah, oh shoot. Sorry, I, I don't have these numbered crop. Is this is this the one? Yeah. Yeah. To the near so 2014? Yeah. Yeah. Oil in 2014? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's look. 
Okay, to the nearest 1,000 gigawatt hours, how much energy came from oil in 2014? Okay, so we need, so this is gigawatt hours, and this is hydro, this is oil, and this yeah. is coal. So really all I did here, if we, if we look at this line, this is almost 4,000, maybe a little more. Yeah. And then if I look at this line, it's almost 8,000. So I just did, you know, approximately uh, 8,000 gigawatt hours minus 4,000 gigawatt hours equals 4,000. That's all. So it's just this chunk right here. And um, yeah, I understand like this. From oil in 2014 or so, I can't 15 or so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, cause, so this, is this is coal. Yeah. yeah. So we're just looking at this one little chunk. And it, it might be a little more, I mean, may maybe it's 5,000. Maybe closer. Yeah, yeah, but it, it's so yeah. 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 Okay. But, but I, I, I understand, understand like this way. way. How, how much energy come from, from oil in 2014 now? So, so I, I count 2014, 2014 oil, oil and, and 2015 oil. oil. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I think um, this. it's just, this is... The whole, the whole year of 2014. Yeah. yeah. And then that's the next year. And it looks like, see how it decreases? It went, it, uh, this, it was, it, I think it was maximum in 2012. Yeah. And yeah. then it became less. And then hydro, hydro really jumped up. See all this hydro in 2013? 2013 was maximum hydro, and then uh, coal came, and I think that made, uh, well, hyd a lot less hydro, and now in 2015, hydro went back up, there's more coal, and now oil went down. Oil is, oil is very expensive to be burning as electricity. Coal, coal and gas are much less expensive. Okay, did you have another question? I like, I like this quiz a lot. It makes you think. It makes your brain hurt. <laughs> And sorry these aren't numbered properly. I think John let's see if I can find John's numbers. Okay, so the question was, after reviewing the three locations, I think this is the PV Watts quiz. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to briefly pause. We'll do a second. So I'm going to stop this recording.